Welcome to the uh, Nintendo Direct Live React video. As always, I am Zacharias, the Pious of House Lane, first of his name, former Lord of Gibbashidashir, Harbinger of Sass, and Holy Prince of the Sea of Ash, and Lord of the Game. And today that game is uh, talking about and reacting to uh, Nintendo and their crazy bullshit. I've got my Waluigi uh, effigy and candle. The shrine is, is set. The shrine is ready. We are we are hoping we are praying to the Nintendo gods that Waluigi ends up in Smash Brothers. We'll just have to wait and see. We're less than a minute away now from it starting. Uh, I've just been talking about here on the stream my history with Nintendo. We we all we all like Nintendo. We we all agree that there was a brief period in time where they they kind of messed up with the Wii U, but uh, they've been rebounding really well with the Switch, and uh, we're excited to see what they do. Ooh, M-rated games. Okay. All right. Turn that turn it way up. Cloud Man? Cloud Icarus? No. What did I tell you? This is the free spot on Nintendo Bingo. Like, it's a JRPG. I don't One know day, what it is. Pyra just disappeared. Pyra? Is this, uh... Help me out, chat. What we got? What is this? Is this Final Fantasy? Is this, um, Kingdom Hearts? No, this is Monster Hunter. Wait, what? What is that kid wearing? This is Xeno. This is Xenoblade I Wars. Find it anywhere. It was as if she vanished off the face of all rest. All right, I, I feel like I'm supposed to know what all this stuff is. A trace. Out of trace, okay. Where have you gone? I like his eyes. He's got nice amber eyes. I'll find you. Whatever like, it like takes. That. Yeah, those nice dark eyes. Those dark brown, but glowing, glistening like pools of amber. You know what this I mean? This is where you were. You gotta. Pyra! People need to work on complimenting Sorry, up people Rex. with brown eyes. It's hard sometimes. I tell but, you. you. know, you gotta get creative and do it anyway. Because. I got an invitation to join Smash! What? <laughs> Fuck! Oh, I thought I was gonna be in Smash. Just sit back and leave it to me, Rex. Behold the power of the Aegis! Smash Flare! You powered up your Smash attack with fire? Genius! You're pretty much owning them! And these are seasoned fighters! There are no pushovers! <laughs> Talk about a tight spot. Mithra? Let me handle this. You know, Mithra, cutting it close, huh? Hey, were these guys planning on me? Gee, I feel kind of bad now. Coming through. Lightning, Buster. Who's on it? Ray is punishment. Throw with us. Foresight. Whoa, you can even use that. Okay. Right, right here. So you two can swap between each other freely. This is a good this is a good way to start the direct, I think, you know, like together. Nothing can stand our way. Uh, I Quite just don't care. What the fuck is this? What the fuck? Uh, I've missed this buddy. Mind if I watch a while. Ooh, look, our friends are here. This is Xenoblade. 
Xenos. Xeno Chronicle Warriors. Oh, and it's the new stage, alright. Alright, it's just watching all this terrible shit. Ugh. It's okay though. I don't I don't mind. I love anime. Shulk? I never expected to see you two again. Well, I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit. Then, now that you're in Smash, like that I won't go easy on you! Ooh, fighting <gasps> Okay! Alright, there's no water. We're fighters too! Ha! <laughs> just kidding, folks. Water is not a beverage. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. 2. Minasan. Hello. Hello, everyone. It's been a while. It has. I'm Shinya Takahashi from Nintendo. Ah. Sorry if you can't. I'm sorry you Last can't year, me. we delivered some news through a series of Nintendo Direct mini presentations. However, we haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. It's true. I'm happy to share this Nintendo Direct with you all today. We appreciate your continued support. Okay. What you just saw was the reveal trailer for the newest fighter in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game, Pyra and Mithra. They originally appeared in the Xenoblade Chronicles series as Rex's two-in-one ally. Please look forward to seeing their moveset in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This fighter releases in March, so we hope you'll stay tuned just a bit longer. The fact All right, checking let's continue with our first batch of Nintendo Switch All headlines. True. Yo, what the fuck? I gotta admit, I gotta admit though, <clears throat> they got a good soundtrack going. This was a no brainer. I'm surprised this didn't happen sooner. Stumble toward greatness when Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout comes to the Nintendo Switch system. If the online actually works, no brainer knockout. Great addition. You have 22 minutes before the solar system is destroyed. Venture into the vast reaches of space to uncover the secrets left behind by an ancient civilization. And a You have good. 22 minutes. Well, After that, always, but... the sun will explode and the solar system will be annihilated. Okay. However, everything will reset, allowing you to continue exploring while retaining information you gathered. By repeating these cycles, you'll gradually unravel the mysteries hidden in the universe. What messages will you discover? How can you prevent the sun from exploding? Why is the solar system trapped in an endless time loop? Find out when the critically acclaimed Outer Wilds launches on Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. Oh, I heard about the Outer Wilds. Put your sleuthing skills to the test in two classic murder mystery games. Famicom Detective Club, The Missing Heir, and Famicom Detective Club, The Girl Who Stands Behind, two deep cuts from Nintendo history are coming two to North America. Two deep cuts, all right. <laughs> Localized it looks like it's, uh... modernized for the Nintendo Switch system. Interesting, Suspense, okay. Suspense, drama, and twists and turns await at every corner. You'll be on the edge of your seat as you dive into these deep narratives set in Japan. In one game, you'll solve a complex murder case surrounding a wealthy family in a haunted village while dealing with amnesia. I hate to admit that I like games like this and the fact that it's all voice acted to crack. And, and everything. I'm just like, yeah, I'm into it. In the other game, you'll investigate a supernatural rumor after a mysterious death to free students from a sinister nightmare interrogate suspects and hunt for clues to piece together these chilling conundrums. 
Wow. Can you figure out who the culprit is before it's too late? <laughs> Uncover the deadly truth in Famicom Detective Club The Missing Heir and Famicom Detective Club The Girl Who Stands Behind. Coming to Nintendo Switch May 14th. Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. A new age of battles begins. New age of battles. Oh. I remember these games. Oh, maybe I don't. Cool. Let's kill her. Oh, the latest entry in the Samurai Warriors franchise is coming to Nintendo Switch. Dive into the history of the Sengoku period as the series now shines the spotlight on Nobunaga Oda and Mitsuhide Oh Akechi. yeah, look at all those enemies on screen. Character designs and visuals have been revamped for this installment. It looks like a PlayStation game still, though, I like it. moves in electrifying 1 versus 1,000 battles. 1 versus 1,000 battles. I remember my friend was playing, yeah. Five. Slashing if its way was playing onto the Nintendo hell out of this game, Summer or at least a game just like it, where you had like a thousand enemies on screen. I'm not as big into that, but the vast world of Fadiel beckons. Who's this? After 20 long years, Legend of Mana, featuring remastered HD graphics, is coming to Nintendo Switch. Wow. You'll set off on a journey to find the mystical mana tree seen in a dream. Ooh. I think they announced this, but I don't think Before I've seen anything of it. The world this looks great. Is empty. During your travels, you'll acquire special items called artifacts. Place them on the map to bring towns, dungeons, and other lands to life. No way, that's kind of neat. I like that. It's up to you on when and where to place artifacts, as well as how to advance the story. <coughs> Join forces with characters, each on their own personal quests. Square off against fearsome monsters. Or take a break from adventure and rest up at home. The music has been rearranged for this enhanced version, and you can alternate between the new arrangement and the original soundtrack. Other features have been added, including the ability to turn off enemy encounters, as well as the new minigame Ring Ring Land. The hell is that? Legend what was that? Why would you even show us that? Switch, I don't want to see that. I don't ever want to see anything like that ever in a Nintendo Direct. That like 15 by 15 display, like no thank you. Is this a Monster Hunter game? Important news. So it's finally beginning. Go assemble the villagers. Wow. Fifty years ago, Kamura Village was attacked by the Rampage and Magnum Malo. And we suffered some devastating casualties. How can we fight against that? This is our hunters about to face the biggest challenge no, yet. No. This is good, you know. I know my friend John is going to be really into this one. He loves Monster Hunter. And who doesn't like hunting monsters? You know, they're big, they're bad, they're, you gotta get them. You gotta catch them all in Monster Hunter or whatever it is. Here it comes! What 
Watch out for the Apex! Do not let it pass! The Rampage. How long do you think it's going to last? 30 minutes. It's a whole new Monster Hunter game, huh? Hinoa, we should start preparations right away. We're here to offer assistance. We must stop the calamity! Dang, that was pretty cool. Oh, and a Nintendo Monster Hunter Deluxe Edition. Ooh, gotta get that. That was the latest trailer for Monster Hunter Rise from Capcom. It's true. How will our heroes fare against these ferocious monsters? Stay tuned for the latest installment in the Monster Hunter series, launching March 26th. Damn, that's soon. Next, please take a look at this. Like a month from now. <gasps> yes! Once again, tee off on the latest installment of the Mario Golf series coming oh to Nintendo my Switch. God. It's about Study fucking time, folks. Terrain. Take your time to think things through. Oh, it's just like ben Wii swing. Sports! Enjoy golfing with familiar Mushroom Kingdom characters on courses filled with lush, natural scenery. Use features on the greens, like a shot gauge, to see how your shot will curve due to slopes. And a scan that lets you examine a course's terrain. Damn. These features can help you ace your shots. Wow. In addition to button controls, you can also use motion controls yes. by holding a Joy-Con controller. Oh. <laughs> the controller to have your character swing in the game letting you easily enjoy the sensation of golfing. I'm turning myself down because I'm getting too hyped on this shit. This is amazing. On top of all that, there are several modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to Mario Golf, including this one, Speed Golf. Here, it's always your turn. Everyone tees off at the same time, then you'll <laughs> race through the course to reach your ball. Give it another whack to get it closer to the hole, then keep going. Outpace your opponents to come out on top. Your golfing skills aren't the only things at play. Make use of dashes and special shots to beat the competition. Oh, did we mention story mode? As a me character, you'll start out as a rookie and develop your golfing skills while interacting with various Mushroom Kingdom characters. Level up with experience points earned during matches. Then allocate points to different stats, allowing you to develop your character however you'd like. You can also use your me in versus play. Put your golfing skills to the test when Mario Golf Fuck. Super Rush swings onto Nintendo Switch June 25th. I Pre hate that I want to play Nintendo that. Nintendo eShop after this presentation. I hate that I want it. I'm not going to pre-order it. Fuck that. I'll wait till the reviews come out. But. The latest game in the Mario mm, Golf good. series adds new gameplay for multiplayer modes as well as the familiar golf gameplay with easy to learn controls. Please look forward to this game on Nintendo Switch. It looks great. Let's move I on love golf to more games. Nintendo I hate Switch golf headlines. as a concept in general, but I love golf games. Check out these games coming to Nintendo Switch. Return to the unforgiving world of Pandora in Tales from the Borderlands. Play as the Hyperion lackey Reese and the quick-witted con artist Fiona as you set out to recover a mountain of cash. Set between Borderlands 2 and 3, this game includes all five episodes filled with classic Borderlands humor. Gangsters, bandit lords, and vault hunters are just a handful of the obstacles you'll encounter in this choice-driven narrative adventure. Embark on a wild ride when Tales from the Borderlands launches on Nintendo Switch March 24th. 32 of Capcom's most beloved arcade classics are coming to Nintendo Switch. Rewind gameplay, adjust game speed or difficulty, and select from a variety of display options to relive that sweet arcade goodness. Get 1943 The Battle of Midway for free, then purchase game packs or the standalone Ghosts and Goblins add-on to build your collection. Local co-op play is also available. Scratch that nostalgic itch when Capcom Arcade Stadium launches later today. 
brains. As a zombie, you just can't get enough of them. In this action game from Aspire, you'll build your zombie horde and take revenge on the city by turning humans into your undead allies. Replenish your bodily arsenal of sputum head, gut grenades, and more during your grisly mission. This city ain't no match for a dead man. Stubs, Stubs the, the zombie. zombie and Rebel Without a Pulse. Made by the way original Nintendo Halo Switch, team. Fucking great game. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Cool, let's come back. I just died, by the way. Speaking of Stubs the Zombie. It's I'm back, Travis though. Touchdown versus Assassins. Wait, aliens? Me, zero, water, one. Aliens have invaded Earth. Hold up. So, somebody the right clipped game? me choking on water. Anyway, after great. annihilating an entire city, the aliens have taken over and now host an intergalactic superhero ranking tournament to decide Earth's fate. Ooh. As the crass, beam katana wielding assassin Travis Touchdown, you'll need to fight your I way need to the, the top other. To I need the sequel. Them. I never played it, so. Yeah, hey, this hey, is hey, number not three. so fast. I need number two before to I can enter each really... boss fight. You'll have to do some odd jobs around town and earn enough to pay off the entry fee. You'll then face off against a slew of unusual opponents. Most of them aliens with some crazy tricks Such up their sleeves. A great Study their game tactics series, carefully to gain the upper hand in combat. The first one was enough with to a new make and improved like, yeah, death blow. You'll have access to a variety of deadly skills that can be customized and upgraded before each match. He always says the name of a dessert before the fate he does of the his world final is at attack. Stake. So get ready to kick some, uh, whatever aliens have that you can kick. Anyway, it'll all make sense when No More Heroes 3 lands on Earth. Or, you know, Nintendo Switch, August 27th. Well, where's the first one? Exterminate demons in he heaven. As yeah, above, so below. Why do they need assassins in heaven? <laughs> to do someone's dirty work. Oh, wait, Spike. Kill or be killed. You won't last long if you can't rely on yourself. There you go. God's judgment has nothing to do with it. Uncover Heaven's Mysteries in Neon White, coming to Nintendo Switch, Winter 2021. All right, I'm intrigued. The DC Superhero Girls are here to save the day. Hi, everyone. My name's Barbara Gordon, AKA Batgirl. I'm always inventing new gadgets to fight crime, like my batarangs and backup. This is Supergirl. She's super strong and has heat vision, plus super breath. And you let's know what? Not it's Woman, not for me, an but I'm not going to shit on it because it's for little tree. girls. Along with our friends Green That's Lantern, Bumblebee, stupid. and Zatanna, we fight evil supervillains to keep our city safe. But we're not just about the super life. We also have our school lives. And trust me, there's never a dull moment at Metropolis High School. Oh. Sometimes it'd be nice to get out of class and do some shopping downtown with my besties. Ooh, and maybe take some photos to share on Superstar Post while we're at it. Hey, hey, I got a comment already. Nice. Ooh, and I definitely want to hit up Sweet Justice later. Uh-oh, something really bad is threatening the city. No one could have seen it coming, but when justice calls, you can count on us to answer no matter what. We've just got to make sure no one figures out our secret identities. DC yeah. Superhero Girls Teen Power heroically sourced on to Nintendo Switch girls. June 4th. Does, does it look like it's for me, though? Ready the juice cannons and prepare for battle. Let's do it. Let's juice them up. <gasps> Zombies hit my neighbors? No. No, plants versus zombies. Yeah. Okay. Zombies ate my plant. Plant or plants ate my zombies. I don't remember which one it is. This does not look anything like what I remember this game being like, but whatever. Is it a, uh, is, is it a fucking... 
It is. It's a battle royale. <laughs> it's a battle royale game, isn't it? You guys made Plants vs. Zombies a battle royale game. I wish I could skip this, but I can't. I mean, I just, again, I can't, it's not for me. It's for somebody else. I don't know who exactly it's for. It doesn't seem like it's for fans of the who original will join series. join you in your adventure? We stuff. Anyone can. We me. Band together on a quest to face evil and save faces. Metopia is coming to Nintendo Switch. It's about time. Cast me characters in various roles across the kingdom. Turn your favorite people into your allies, or even make someone the nefarious Dark Lord. Makeup has been added as a new feature in this game. Glam up your Mies and get them ready for adventure. There's also a new wig feature, letting you go wild with your Mii creations and make them even more fabulous. Interesting. In the world of Miitopia, relationships are key. So consider spending some quality time with allies to strengthen bonds. This can give you an advantage during battle. If your relationship's sour, though, things might take a turn for the worse. Whoa! You can have a horse as an ally? That sounds pretty barn good! Care for it, and it'll lend a hand, or poof, in battle. Adventure with friends and familiar faces in the lighthearted romp Metopia. Coming to Nintendo Switch May 21st. That looks kind of Pre orders begin like today it, on I Nintendo like, e I like anything with the me, it's good stuff. Super Mario themed items are coming to your island. I knew it would happen. <laughs> they Super said Mario like Brothers 35th anniversary themed items are coming to the House? Animal Crossing New Horizons game. Familiar items like the Super Mushroom and the Question Block can be ordered in-game as furniture items. So place them however and wherever you'd like. You can also place two warp pipes. What? No. Then use them to travel between locations on your island. That's amazing. Hey, why not try recreating the Mushroom Kingdom? A free update for the game launches February 25th. I'm down. After downloading it, Super Mario Brothers items will be available via Nook Shopping starting March 1st. Keep an eye on the official Animal Crossing Twitter account for the latest information. That's cool. That's a much better. It's much better than they've we done hope in the past. You continue enjoying life on your island. The 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 Mario items in past Animal Crossing games have been pretty lackluster. How was that? These collaboration items will be released as part of the Super Mario Bros. 35th anniversary events. Please wait a bit longer for their release. Speaking I'm, of yeah, which, I'm stoked. last week, we had the global launch for the Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury game. We hope you enjoy that Mario adventure as well. That does look cool. Next, Don't we have another game thing. to show you. To each their own convictions, those who value virtuous morality, those who respect the liberty of all, those who pursue pragmatic utility, what ideals do you espouse? He leaves us no recourse! Swords! I knew it! I called it! Frost will answer for its crimes today. Are these the wages of loyalty? Raised earth and burnt corpses. You and no other must decide how we proceed. You are a leader and must be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest. Together with these fields, today you burn. 
I promise to do all in my power to see us through this safely, every last one of us. Project Triangle Strategy? Far, far away lies the continent of Norzilia, comprised of three nations and limited deposits of salt and iron. The constant feuds among the nations over these precious resources eventually ignited into a great conflict known as the Salt Iron War. Though the hostilities ceased with an uneasy truce, decades later the flames of war threatened to engulf the realm once again. You are all that remains. Caught in a tangled, fiery web of plots and conspiracies, a brave group from Glenbrook fights to save their kingdom from the powers that would orchestrate their downfall. Our benefit, you say? Ah! In this new tactical RPG, battles take place on terrain with different elevations. A character's attack range is determined by their location and their equipped weapon. The range can be extended by attacking from higher ground with long-range weapons, such as bows and arrows. Thus, your forces can use the terrain and other elements to gain the upper hand. An enemy outflanked is susceptible not only to your initial attack, but also a powerful blow from the ally positioned behind the enemy. What have we here? Charge into an enemy to send them flying into position for a follow-up attack. We win. Link attacks together by first casting ice magic on I'm the flames this, to, to create honest. water terrain. Then electrify the area with lightning magic. It is of the utmost importance to survey the battlefield before taking action. Throughout the story, you will be faced with making important decisions in a variety of situations. Utility, morality, liberty. Collectively, your decisions will establish your conviction, affecting how the story unfolds and who will join your cause. Once more, I would ask you plainly, do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Estrost? Critical decisions that may determine the fates of nations are settled by vote on the scales of conviction. Use information you've gathered to sway allies toward your favored cause. The story will significantly change based on how the votes are cast. So they refuse to relinquish him to us. Lies! His hand was forced! As more and more critical decisions are made, your journey may take you down paths divergent from those of other players. You will see what true might is. All right. Project Triangle All right. Strategy. A that better be your working title. RPG I need a better Square title Enix than will that. Will launch in 2022. But please I'm be on the lookout for more information. Interested. I in hate the it. Future. I might actually play Octopath After Traveler this now. After presentation, a demo version of this game yes! will be able to download on Nintendo eShop, and in yes! the future, we'll conduct a survey to gather player feedback. We look forward to Just hearing like your Octopath responses Traveler. on the Damn demo. Damn it. Fuck them. Fuck them for making me want to do this. Please look forward to future updates on this brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix. I am still stoked okay, on Warpipe from Animal Crossing. Let's see a few more Nintendo high. Switch headlines. Calling all hunters. Do you have what it takes? Star Wars Hunters is a competitive, free-to-play online game set between Episodes 6 and 7. Clash in this third-person shooter coming to Nintendo Switch in 2021. Okay. I'm intrigued. Right, let's do this. All right, Sal. <laughs> do I look at you or the camera? Knockout City interviews, take one. We all play for different reasons. Hmm. 
Gorgon loved battle. Gorgon used many weapons. Triple-bladed war axe, spear of misery, Hades soul-devouring crossbow. A princess is supposed to lead her people, not be this stuck up in some tower waiting for This reminds me of the Shadow a Legends hero. commercials. My line of work? Bullets are constantly whizzing past you. Flaming longsword, I, blade of I desperately doom. want just to once, leave this trailer. Just once I'd like to catch one of them bullets. You know, with... My hands. With this crown, I'm gonna if I look lead ahead of me, I see the trailer. If I look at the screen in the camera, I see the trailer. If I look, look, oh. it's simple. Gorgon want new weapon. In Knockout City, I'm like a kung fu master. Oh shit, I can turn I can down the sound bullets. too. Oh good. <laughs> oh good. I knew it. It's a battle royale that doesn't look anything like what was just being advertised. What is what is this? What is this? What is this? Can't believe we're losing to a bunch of dairy farmers. Okay, team. They may have won the battle, but not the war. Uh, uh, hey, can we redesign our characters? You're not a team if you're not wearing a uniform. Max, this is a war zone, not a bloody fashion show. Pass to me. Uh, what? Interview's over. Oh, come on, man, one more game. Okay. All right, I saw, I watched it. I watched some of it. The fight for survival starts now. Hang on tight, because you're all going to play a little game of fate for me. From the creators of the Danganronpa and Zero Escape series comes a fight for your life, literally. Disoriented and trapped in an underwater theme park, the 12 of you, known as the Go-Getters Club, must now survive this game of fate at all costs. I don't want to die yet! Sorry to scare you all, but... The game is suddenly called off. You escape the theme park and get a glimpse of Japan, but everyone's vanished. Set off on a captivating journey across the country that blends side-scrolling action with suspenseful narrative. The one behind the whole game of fate. As you make your way back home to Tokyo, you'll alternate between working solo and teaming up with the group to overcome challenges and monsters that stand in your way. What I'm awaits you so all at confused. the end of your journey? The battle for survival begins in World's End Club. Venturing onto Nintendo Switch, May 28th. Okay. Feel the powers of Olympus with the physical release of Hades. Hades, the critically acclaimed dungeon crawler and recipient of multiple Game of the Year awards, is getting a physical release on Nintendo Switch. This version comes with a couple of extras to assist you on your journey out of the underworld. The first Physicals? is a PC download code for the Hades original soundtrack. It's packed with two and a half hours of blood pumping music composed by Darren Korb, nice. known for his work on previous supergiant titles like Transistor and Bastion. The second is a 32 page full color character compendium featuring portraits of the game's vibrant cast of gods, ghosts, and monsters, all by Supergiant's art director, Gen Z. And let's not forget the game itself, offering dozens of hours of exhilarating action paired with a compelling story. Escape the underworld again, or for the first time, with the physical version of Hades on March 19th. I'm intrigued. Three deadly action games, one masterful collection. Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Ninja, Ninja Gaiden. Gaiden Sigma 2. And Ninja Gaiden Ninja 3 Razor's Edge are coming to Nintendo Switch as the action-packed Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. You are the legendary yeah, ninja it, Ryu Hayabusa. People keep telling me it's a roguelike. Hades is a roguelike with an amazing story. With an arsenal of killer weapons, each offering a playstyle with cool a different me. set of lethal skills, along with ruthless ninjutsu to swiftly take down enemies. Quickly gauge your opponent's movements while unleashing fast and frenzied combos, and team up with other super ninjas in your quest to fulfill your destiny. All previous downloadable content, including costumes and game modes, are included. 
Revel in the intensity of Ninja Gaiden in one dynamic collection. Ninja Gaiden Master Collection slices its way onto Nintendo Switch into it. summer 2021. I'm intrigued. You know, Ninja Gaiden, it's a cool series. It's a, it's a good PlayStation series coming to the Switch. Good move. More battles are coming to Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. You know, it looked like a good game. Not really for me, but uh, you know, if you if you're into Legend of Zelda, you're into that series. It's good, pretty good on you, you know. There's even more coming to Nintendo Switch. Jesus Christ! We're Forty Bravely minutes Default in. Two is almost here. Four Heroes of Light will soon embark on a journey to restore the crystals. I heard good things Use about the, the first one of these too. Use the to develop your characters and master the brave and default commands to emerge victorious in turn-based battles. I live to fight. Veterans and newcomers to the series can enjoy this brand new story on February 26th. A new trailer for Bravely Default 2 will be revealed following this presentation. The game can be pre-ordered on Nintendo eShop. An updated demo is also available. Cool. The latest installment Ooh. in the legendary Ghosts oh, and Goblins wow. series comes to life. Was As not the Brave expecting Knight this. Arthur, you'll unleash weapons, spells, and skills to battle monsters across challenging stages within the Demon Realm. This is such an Local insane series. Local co-op play is also available for the first time. Help Arthur in his quest with one of three supporting characters: Barry for defense, Carrie for transportation, or Archie for bridges. Ghosts wow. and Goblins Resurrection launches February 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. It looks great. Wow. Eight protagonists. Eight captivating journeys. Saga Frontier has been remastered for Nintendo Switch. Travel through a stunning sci-fi world with any of the protagonists, each with their own stories. With the addition of the playable protagonist Fuse, new gameplay features, exhilarating battles, and a new scenario for the protagonist Acellus, Saga Frontier Remastered is an adventure not to be missed. The game launches April 15th. Uh, interesting. Apex Legends is storming onto the Nintendo Switch system. Uh -oh. This free-to-play battle royale a features a growing this. roster of powerful contenders named Legends, strategic combat, cross-platform play, and more. All players on Nintendo Switch can get an all-new Legendary Pathfinder skin and 30 free levels for the Season 8 Mayhem Battle Pass. Plus, for the first two weeks after launch, earn double XP when you play on Nintendo Switch. No idea Fight for fortune, fame, and glory when Apex Legends enters the fray March 9th. Yeah! How's it going so far? There's still a little bit more to show you in wow. today's Nintendo Direct. This is a so long one. You'll stick with us. I have to go Next, to the bathroom. Please take a look at we're this. We're in for the long haul. Hello there, I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to share right now. We apologize. Okay. Development is proceeding smoothly, and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. For now, we'll have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. No, oh, do we get a logo? While you're all waiting, however, this Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Please take a look. Ocarina of Time? Oh, it's Skyward Sword. This was on the Wii U as well. I did not get to play this. I'm into it. It was like the last classic Zelda game to come out before uh, 
Breath of the Wild. What you've just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. This game originally released in 2011 HD, on the huh? Wii console, and now it's coming to Nintendo Switch. The Legend oh, of Zelda that Skyward Sword on? featured a control scheme in which players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword and the Nunchuck controller as a shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. Oh. And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. Ooh. The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. Swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. The Joy-Con controller in your left hand is the shield. By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. Okay. You can perform other actions like using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow. These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. It's true. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch Lite system. That's After good. mulling over how to assign different gameplay elements to different buttons, we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. To swing to the right, to the left, or diagonally, just tilt the stick in the respective direction. Here's something else we've been working on. Specially designed Joy-Con controllers. Everyone loves the Joy-Cons. The right Joy-Con controller is themed after the Master Sword, while the left features a Hylian shield motif. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, as the game depicting the earliest story in the Legend of Zelda timeline, details the events around the creation of the Master Sword itself. We hope that people cool. who played the original game on Wii, and those playing it for the first time, will enjoy discovering the origins of The Legend of Zelda. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD launches July 16th. Following this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop. And the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and it was yes. still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Using the sailcloth to descend in midair, a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ran. Even the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear. I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. This is a solid choice. This is a good pick, I'm not gonna lie. I might pick it up, I might play Please it. Please look forward to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Well, what did you think? The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword has been optimized for Nintendo Switch. It includes intuitive motion controls and button controls by tilting the right control stick. Okay, the next game will be our last announcement for today. Please take a look at this. What is it? What could it be? Splatoon. like a Splatoon RPG. Oh my god, it is.
What am I seeing? What is happening? Splatoon 3, right out of the gate. With the, with the soundtrack, too. I've never played it. I'm intrigued. Well, back to the ink. I guess that's it, guys. I guess that was the whole direct. What you've just seen is the latest installment in the Splatoon series, Splatoon 3. This game is scheduled to launch in 2022, so it'll be a while. We hope you'll stay tuned for more information at a later time. Today, we showed you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo Switch. A variety of games are in development. And we look forward to sharing more news with you in the future. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Okay. Ah, all right. I guess that was it. No, no Luigi, no Waluigi in Smash Brothers. Go ahead and put out your put out your candles, folks. You know, put put away the the Waluigi effigy for another few months until we get another direct. Uh, but besides that, damn, what a what a good set of uh, interesting games. Yeah, I might I might pick up Splatoon, I might pick up Skyward Sword. There's a there was a bunch of stuff in there. I'm I'm definitely gonna pick up the demo for uh tri word strategy game, tri triangle strategy, whatever that game's called. I'm intrigued. I like this. This is uh There's things to look forward to. There's things to look forward to, that's pretty rad. And that was like an hour. That was like fifty minutes of Nintendo shit. That's incredible. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm done. I'm probably going to play some Skyrim while I download that, uh, Octopath Traveler thing. And thank you all for, uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for, uh, joining me here for the Nintendo Direct. Uh, as always, I've been Zacharias the Pious of House Lane, first of his name, former Lord of Gave a Shit is here, Harbinger of Sass, and Holy Prince of the Sea of Ash, and Lord of the Game. Today that game was this Nintendo Direct. Uh, and if you, if you've joined me for the whole ride, I thank you so much for buckling in and, and, Stick in there with me. See you all next time.